kind of review the reporting tools available in the ERP cloud from the perspective of a financial user. So here I am, I'm under uh, Casey Brown here. And you can see I've got an icon here, Financial Reporting Center. This is where a financial user can access all the reports that they have um, access to. So I mean, with all the reports, um, it would be your BI publisher reports. So that would be a report that's pixel perfect. That's got a specific layout and a specific design. Uh, analytics. So if I went uh, and created a report in OTBI, Oracle Transaction Business Intelligence, that's real-time access to data directly from the ERP in predefined metadata designed for the end user, <clears throat> where I create charts, graphs, uh, tables, and such. And then I can access those through this uh, reporting center. Could be another dashboard where I take all those objects and I put those together and put those on a dashboard. Uh, also, it could be a financial report. So I've used Financial Reporting Studio and created uh, reports from that. And then I can access those particular reports from SmartView and, and have all those capabilities. So let's first is a, a listing of my favorites that I have stored. And as you note here, you'll see different types of icons. So this particular one is a BI Publisher report. I can click on it and it will load this particular report. So you can see the report is loaded here. And again, it's a say specific layout. This is actually one of the seated reports. You can come up here, you see this icon, you can click on, you know, tell you exactly where this report is stored within the catalog. So behind this is an OTBI catalog and it really kind of lays out where all the reports are stored and who has access to what, who can do what, right? So again, this just gives you the navigation to be able to access that report. You can go in and schedule this report. You can go and actually have a social conversation about it. And really any of these reports, you can have a social conversation around it. Let's go ahead and done there. So now the next report we'll look at is an analysis. Click on this and this will load our analysis for us. Okay, we have a graph here, a little um, table down below. Same thing, be able to you know, look where the analysis is and be able to, to take a, um, if you wanna to navigate to it and make changes or generally copy it over and make changes, you can do that if you have the correct rights. I'm gonna go in, you can make it a favorite. I'm gonna click on this icon that'll give me the ability to edit that report. And to look at the specific design below it. So here I am, I'm in OTBI, and I've got my subject area here. That's laid out with all my metadata. And it's laid out in a format that makes it easy for the end user. It's really putting that terminology so all they need to be able to do is just very quickly be able to know, hey, I want invoice details, general information, and they can look and see using the same field names that are available to the application, what they should access. We can go to criteria. And here's where we can select our fields. Again, it's all drag and drop here, sort, edit, put filters on, a lot of capabilities I'm on being able to do that. Go to my catalog. This is key actually, because again, it lists all of my reports. <clears throat> I can go into here into the financials area and look at things that are predefined, right? Be able to look at the seeded reports. Go to account analysis and you can see just kind of a quick listing of some of the seeded reports that are available. These are seeded BI publisher reports. You can look at them. You can copy them over if you want to and then be able to make changes to them, you know, to make them specific to your, um, to your needs and to your format and such. All right, so let's close that. And we'll go ahead and we'll go down here. We've looked at a BI publisher. Now let's go in and look at a uh, financial report. So we'll click on this. Uh, 
So my report loaded here. Again, here is where you can see, uh, note that we're in financial uh, uh, reporting and financial reporting studio uh, because of the dimensionality, right? A couple of things here where you can go in and look at not just all the dimensions that are associated with this particular segment, but it maintains all the hierarchies for you, right? Uh, we also have within here and the ability to do social. You can see down here, we can have conversations around specific cells. So if I want to be able, in this case, you know, make a note around a particular value for someone to review, I can do that and have that on here. Again, be able to control pages, be able to slice and dice your information within this. You also have the ability to open Excel, to open Query. Query ready mode actually opens it in, in um, SmartView. And I'll show you that and be able to uh, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, multiple capabilities there. Let's take a look at this report and go ahead and download it in uh, query uh, ready mode for SmartView. So here's my report in SmartView. And you can see, you know, we have a lot of capabilities here. And you can see we have that same dimensionality over here. Be able to slice and dice your data. You've got that same information. You can format it the way you want. All the capabilities that are associated with Excel are available and, and then combined. So you can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, you actually have the ability within this again to be able to do things like drill down. So if I want to drill down into the specific values associated with that, I can do it, all right? So it really combines all that capability of Excel with being able to work in an enterprise application where we have our data stored in one place. Okay. I also want to note, to be able to make changes to, the financial, um, to these financial reports, I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. And actually what they've done is, in the current version of the application I'm using is um, 19C. In 19D, and I can't show this yet because I don't have access to 19D when I talk to it, um, we have the ability to make changes to financial uh, reports into Financial Reporting Studio within the application. Previously, we had to have a desktop um, application to be able to do this. Uh, we would download the report to the desktop application. We'd make our changes, but now it's going to be within the workspace. So let me show you how to access that. So what we're on to is this EPM uh, system workspace fusion edition. And what you'll do is in the future is you'll just go tools. And then we already have the menu option here, but this won't launch because it's not 19D. You'll launch reporting studio. That'll launch that report. You'll have the ability to open your reports, save reports, um, you know, be able to make your modifications and tailor them to your own needs and create your own reports. So it's interesting. It'll have a lot more, um, this, this new version will have a lot more capabilities and be a lot user, more user-friendly than previous versions. Now we're back here and we can just click done. area. And one other thing you can create, I just want to show you, um, and this is uh, what we call a uh, Starburst. It's essentially a financial report, but it's laid out in a format that is um, user-friendly and can communicate a lot of information in the graphical format, particularly about doing um, accounting. So here's a Sunburst. Again, we can do account groupings, periods in this case. It, and what this will do is it, as you go in the middle here, it'll show you um, aggregate values. It's really kind of a representation. This is really why it shows financial data very well of a hierarchy. So here I am, and as I drill down, it will show you the individual components that make these up, you know? Um, so in this case, this account 281, is made up of four, four, 400, 460, and 600 
and then you can drill down and look at the values associated with it. And within that, you have the ability to set up alerts and formatting around it to hopefully be able to just, uh, very quickly communicate financial status, communicate, um, you know, in terms of an analysis where our account values are. The final thing I'm going to show is, again, I just went to um, OBIEE or OTBI. And, you know, within this, I want to show you where you can be able to create things. So here's where you can create an analysis, a new analysis, or a dashboard. Uh, report, BI Publishing Report. And it's interesting, BI Publisher is really kind of two components. What you do first is you can create a data model, and that's using OTBI subject areas, and be able to create what data you want to be able to see in your report. And then second, create the report itself, and that report will lay out the formatting. Um, so what they've done is they've tried to make it flexible that um, you know, you've got your data model, but it's not embedded into your report because you can create data models and then create multiple formats, those reports off it, and just have one place to be able to maintain that. Um, we also have actual intelligence, the ability to create agents. So if I want to be able to create um, a notification, something that uh, when something occurs within the system, maybe we've got a GL account, we've got a budget associated, and we've consumed so much of that budget. And now we want to be able to um, get a notification when we've done that, maybe consume 80%. Uh, it'll do that for you. And it'll get notifications. It can send alerts, it run processes. Uh, very powerful, has a lot of flexibility. Um, and then within this, also create mobile apps. So you can create your own, deploy your own mobile apps. Right. Again, this is just, this is a nice place actually, because it'll show you, um, again, what you've recently in, you know, access what your most popular are. You can also, again, get into your catalog here, as we talked about earlier, showing you a listing of all your folders, all your reports, be able to access things like be able to look at uh, those reports are seated within the application. All right, so that was just a, a quick overview of reporting in the ERP cloud from the perspective of a financial user.